Some of the most fascinating and intriguing aspects of a woman's life are the way that our hormones change throughout our monthly cycle and our life cycle. Today I would like to share with you how a woman's natural hormones change as we age. In my last video I explained the normal menstrual cycle changes. So let's start with how to know if you are in menopause. Well, to define it, menopause is technically a one year with no period. So 12 months from the last period. Perimenopause, however, can last up to 15 years. If you are still cycling and you're wondering if you're in the perimenopause, blood testing is sometimes helpful. But remember, fluctuations in our blood hormones are very pulsatile. In other words, they change on a daily basis. If I'm checking someone's blood to look at their ovarian reserve, which will indicate decreased hormone production, I'm going to check a blood test on cycle day three of their menstrual cycle for an FSH, an LH, and an estradiol. If the FSH is greater than 20 international units per liter and the LH is greater than 30 international units per liter, we know that pregnancy is unlikely. However, typically we say that there's diminished ovarian reserve if the FSH is above 10 on cycle day three, but pregnancy may still be possible. As we go through our reproductive years and into menopause, less than 10% of us abruptly cease menstruating. The duration for 90%, over actually 95% of women, can last 10 to 15 years. It can begin from our mid-30s into our 50s. So what's happening to hormones as we get older? If we consider three key reproductive hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, our healthiest levels are in our 20s to our mid-30s when we start to get a decline in our hormones. Most predominantly, we'll start to see progesterone decline sharply first. This can create those symptoms of PMS, even if you hadn't experienced them in that past. As we get this estrogen dominant kind of phenomena, which is typically associated with mood swings, irritability, depression, irregular periods, breakthrough bleeding, heavy menstrual bleeding, painful cycles, ovarian cyst, water retention, even vaginal dryness and the oh-so-nasty weight gain around the hips, thighs, and abdomen, not to mention the sleep disorders, fatigue, and as hormones continue to decline, we may experience memory issues, wrinkling skin, and bone loss. I know, shoot me now, right? I mean, that doesn't sound fun. But seriously, we can eliminate and ease these symptoms by our lifestyle and also replacing progesterone. But it's really important to optimize your natural hormone balance through lifestyle and nutrition first. In our mid 40s, we will start to see a roller coaster of estrogen. We'll have peaks and valleys in our hormones fluctuating levels of estrogen, and we'll experience typically worsening symptoms of hot flashes and night sweats, as well as mood swings. As we enter into our 50s, we will see a decline of all the hormones. In postmenopause, there's a slight inversion in the estrogen and testosterone ratio, as you can see in the slide. It's really important to note here that even years postmenopause, our ovaries are an important part of the hormone communication system and still produce trace hormones. Research has shown that the postmenopausal ovary is an important part of our overall health. And actually, as we maintained our ovaries and didn't have them removed, we have reduced risk of morbidity and mortality from cardiovascular disease. So that's key. Another key hormone that declines with aging is DHEA. This happens in both men and women. With our peak values in our 20s to 30s, and then a decline about 2% per year from our 30s in women. We know that DHEA is good for our brain, our bones, and our breast. It's an adrenal hormone predominantly, but there are receptor sites throughout our body. What we know is that low levels of DHEA are associated with cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, lupus, mood disorders, insomnia, disability, and pain. We also know that DHEA has been shown to improve sexual function and sexual desire, libido and orgasm. 
It's also been shown to be responsible for a general feeling of well-being and helps to maintain muscle and bone mass as well as improve mood and immunity. Wherever we find ourselves in the hormone cycle of life, what I want you to remember is that it is important to optimize your body's natural production and clearance or detoxification of hormones. What comes in must go out. So healthy metabolism and detoxification is key. That means a healthy liver, healthy intestines, healthy microbiome, healthy kidney, healthy mindset, and healthy lifestyle. In my field of specialty, I have been a proponent of bioidentical hormone replacement therapy as needed, but at low doses, really working on optimizing our body's natural transition so that we enter the rest of the days of our lives with clarity, energy, zestiness, sexiness, and super great relationships. Healthy, happy hormones start with a good detoxification program, a keto alkaline lifestyle and nutrition program, like I share in my Magic Menopause program, and key nutritional supplements. I typically will start with over-the-counter USP high-quality bioidentical hormone replacement, such as with my Pure Balance PPR cream and my Jolva Feminine cream for our delicate feminine parts. Can't leave those out. So the Pure Balance PPR cream contains USP grade progesterone and pregnenolone. These are our mother hormones and they're vitally important, especially as our progesterone level starts to decline. Another cream that I use is the Jolva Feminine Cream that I created to provide solutions for women where there are none. This is a topical cream applied to the vulva to restore, nourish, moisturize, and rejuvenate our delicate feminine parts, right? Our exotic orchid, if you will. <laughs> and um, it's just a beautiful addition. So it also contains the hormone DHEA, but contains several other ingredients, including alpine rose plant stem cells, which are very anti-aging and regenerative, as well as some really beautiful emollients. So these can be tremendously helpful, but nothing replaces a healthy, optimized lifestyle full of love. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love sharing this information with you. I encourage you to comment below and ask any questions. Yeah, please like and share it too. This information is so important for women to have, and I want them to have this information. I'm Dr. Anna Kabeca, menopause and hormone expert. Connect with me at drannacabeca.com and learn about my natural restoring feminine cream at jolva.com.